This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. Greg Graziani, and I've always been fascinated by reptiles, from the tiniest fragile little creatures to the enormous deadly apex predators and everything in between. Follow me into my wild backyard of Florida on a journey of exploration, conservation, and education to understand more about these magnificent animals. You know, on today's episode of the Python Hunter, I think I'm going to take a break from working inside and see what I can find outside. It's time for the Python Hunter question of the week. How many different skink species are there? A. Over 1,500 B. 500 Or C. Under 50 different species? Go ahead and post your answer in the comment section down below and stay tuned for the answer later on in the show. Well, something just went into that wood pile right there. This is a southeastern five-line skink. And, you know, most of the shows that we do are these giant, dangerous, you know, big reptiles. But these little seclusive animals are so cool. Check out how this skink slides right into the ground as it burrows. It lays its legs along its body and slithers through the dirt like a snake in the water. Although they are mainly a terrestrial animal, they will take to the trees if molested on the ground and also to find insects like ants and termites to eat. So these guys love rotten wood piles and things like that. That's where they find termites and ants. And it's a diurnal animal. You see them out during the day, they'll be sunning on top of it. Typically they zip right under it and they're lightning fast. And they've got a pretty good, a pretty good bite as well compared to a lizard. These little guys can, you can see he's got a hold of my finger right there. And he has got a much stronger bite than just any of the anoles that we've got around here. You actually see every once in a while, he'll flick out his little tongue. Oh, he'll try and get a chomp on me and then flick out that little tongue. <laughs> there he goes. These are such cool little creatures. They're really, really snake-like and they're like our smooth scaled snake, just like our pythons. They're really slick, which makes them hard to get a hold of as well. an adult animal I can't really tell whether it's a male or female it's either a small male or a mature female the, the babies actually have these fluorescent bluish purple tails and they're much prettier a lot of people think it's two different lizards but as they mature out they become much more dull and drab and these guys spend most of their time in these decayed wood piles looking for ants. It's a diurnal animal. They, they move around during the day and feed during the day. We're going to go ahead and put this guy back right in this rotten wood pile. Well, we found him. If I can get him to let go of my finger. We'll go ahead and release this guy right back into the wood pile there. Oh, don't bite. Come on, that's tender. Go on. There you go. Perfect, right down into your wood pile. So we've let that little guy go back into the wood pile there. Well, he'll go ahead and finish eating on these oak ants and termites and whatever else he finds in there. Hopefully he doesn't bump into a coral snake because that's one of the uh, main diets of the eastern coral snake in this area.
you know, cruising around on my own little 14 acres right here is cool. I find a lot of cool stuff. But just like I've said before, when I find something, I gotta keep looking. So I think this is gonna be a good day. Let's go jump in the truck and do a little bit of road cruising. Looks like there's something right up there in the road. I bet it's a roadkill man this time of day most of the time. These animals are dead. Oh, it's a snake. It's definitely a snake. Oh, it's a corn snake. He doesn't look here. on this nice warm road right here, probably digesting a meal. No. Now we want to get away. As a kid, these were the two snakes that we looked for most when we went out snake hunting. Florida king snakes and corn snakes are what we called red rat snakes growing up. And uh, these were the two that we always wanted to capture. The pet stores paid by the foot for these guys. You know, they only gave us four or five dollars a foot for them. But um, these were really what we really wanted to catch when we went out. And the markings on this animal is really, really cool. This is kind of a dull corn snake for this area right here. Um, usually we get them a, a little bit brighter than this, but this animal is going to do really well with all this leaf litter in this hammock and everything. Beautiful animal. Nice constrictor, and you know, this has turned into the, the probably the most popular snake in the pet trade from uh, you know the 60s to now. People have bred hundreds and hundreds of colors and patterns of these guys from different locales to genetic mutations. And uh, the ball pythons are quickly catching up. But this is a uh, very, very pretty animal. And you can see, it didn't even try to bite me. Uh, it kind of flared up a little bit right in the beginning. But, um, oh. I didn't like it when I when I hold him still there. And these guys are constrictors. Um, they've already uh, already laid eggs this year. Right now, uh, most of the the colubrid eggs are are incubating. We've got some corn snake eggs from a snake that we captured earlier on in the year. I don't want to stop, but it's getting hot, so we're gonna take a break. Maybe head out this evening. Hopefully this evening or else tomorrow night see what else we can find but let's go ahead and get this little guy off the road and just look how well this snake blends into the camouflage in the background here when we let this snake go you know from a distance you wouldn't even see that snake off you go It's time to answer the Python Hunter question of the week. How many different skink species are there? The answer is A, over 1,500 species worldwide. You know, as much as I love working with my captive collection, I still got to get out into the wild and see what I can find. Unlike the enclosures where I know where everything is in here, out in the wild, I'm always one second away from finding something cool and new. That'll do it for this week's episode of The Python Hunter. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Let us know what you thought about the show. We'll see you next week. I just think it's incredible that animals can inspire and unlock 
know, so much for people. Mm -hmm. They've unlocked so much in my life. And so when I meet someone that's as passionate, um, I'm not. This is ABTV.